everybody, this is Ray the Video Guy back with another ScreenFlow 4 quick tutorial. And today I want to talk about one of the great new features they've added to ScreenFlow 4, which is nested sequences. Now nested sequences are where you take two or more pieces of video and you put them into a separate timeline so that you can go back and work on all the pieces as one. Now let me show you what I mean by this. In the old version of ScreenFlow, if you were to add an effect to this particular video or do any sort of change, such as resizing and zooming in, you would notice that when you reach the edit point, the second clip is going to jump back to its original position. And what we would have to do at that point is look at what we've done here, look at the scaling, which in this case was 246%. And we would have to go to the second clip, change that to 246%. And then we would have to kind of guess as to where the location is for that. And we would go back and forth and say, oh, well, it looks like it needs to go down just a touch. Or we could take it, drop it down here, and then we could slide it over a little bit and... Uh, you know, then go in and adjust the opacity of this one so that we can see the other one behind it and attempt to match it up. And as you can see, you know, it was just a bit of a pain in the neck to, to sit here and do this and try and figure it all out. So they've come up with a solution called nested sequences. And what that essentially is, is if we go back here, actually, let's just go back in time do all that we've done get everything back to normal all you have to do nowadays is to highlight all the clips that you want to nest together right click hit nest clips or hit option command n and you'll see that that now makes one piece here and you'll see there's a little icon here that shows you that it's a nested clip it also says nested clip and if you were to double click on this a new tab would open up and you would still have your two pieces of video here separately. So if you needed to adjust either of these individually, you still could. But on the main default timeline, you'll be able to work as if those are one piece of video. And so as you can see, if we were to take this and we were to zoom in as we did before. And move this up. Now both of those pieces have the effect applied to it as if they are one piece. And this works also for video filters. So if we were to go over here and add a filter, such as uh, you know, color posterize, you can see that it does that across both clips now. And it just makes life a lot easier for adding effects to multiple pieces of video at the same time. So that's nested sequences in the new ScreenFlow 4. If you need more information on ScreenFlow 4, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or click the link below this video to go to the main ScreenFlow 4 page.